Hi everyone, I'm Rachel Tessman from StampYourArtOut.com and I am here to bring you some color comparison today. I'm very excited. Um, I had some requests for this because I've done it the past few years, past couple years. I don't know how many years I've done it now. And um, it's helpful to a lot of you. It's helpful to me to do it. And I've even had help collecting past colors of cardstock samples so that I could do it to the fullest. So I'm going to um, present the new in colors to you today. They are the 2021 through 23 in colors. And um, on my desktop, you can see the new catalog. So this is going to debut on May 4th, 2021. So just a little less than a month now because it's April 5th. And um, isn't it beautiful? Look at the colors and the designs. You can see, you can kind of get hints to what's coming, um, at least some of the new products. And so I'm gonna bring in the, the new in colors. But before we do a little comparison, I am going to show you some of the new products that you can get with the in colors, and then we'll dive right in. Now I am on my own. Um, Trisha, I did not invite Trisha to join me today. So if you're used to seeing my, my YouTube lives, you know that I have a moderator. Her name is Trisha. Oh, she <laughs> she peeked in. I warned her. I said, um, "Don't worry about coming on if you if you can't." But um, I because I, I have to pay attention to the comments anyways. So uh, I have the computer in a different position. I have it right in front of me, so I can peek down and read the comments as we go. Because you're gonna have to call out to me certain colors that I may have forgotten to compare. Uh, so I have to pay attention to the comments and that means I'm going to go a little bit slower maybe than I normally do. I don't know. But it's so nice to see all of you who are tuning in and saying hello and telling us where you're from. It's always fun to peek to see all the different locations around the U.S. and around the world. It's crazy. Some of you people in Europe, I know it's evening time for you and you chime in and sometimes it's like early morning for people in Australia, New Zealand and you chime in. We even get people from Africa and from, where else have I seen? Um, oh gosh, Sweden and places that I just, you know, didn't even anticipate. And it's really, really fun. But, okay, sorry, I'm getting carried away with the excitement. I love doing these. I love doing these color comparisons. So here's the, oh, sorry, let me show you again. So here's the annual catalog. And now I'm going to bring in my um, white piece of grid paper here because, oh, everything, <laughs> we're gonna have accidents right from the get-go. Get I am so glad that I closed my water bottle. Okay, I have tape on my grid paper. That's why it got stuck. I'm gonna show you first some of the things that you'll be able to get in the new in colors, and then we'll put them right in front of us on this white grid paper. These are the new in colors. Aren't they beautiful? I kept them inside the um, containers here because I have the full sheet or the, the pieces of the sheets, the samples, um, right here. So you can see that we get Fresh Freesia, Evening Evergreen, Polished Pink, Soft Succulent, and Pale Papaya. Now some of you who are demonstrators may have already peeked at these colors already. And you may have like favorites already picked out. So call out your favorites if you are a demonstrator and maybe you even have them in your hands already because you expedited like I did. But call out your favorite colors. It'll be fun to see what the uh, popular ones are. I'm sure there's, I'm sure there's equal voting for all of them. You can get the cardstock in variety packs also. So this is our variety pack of 12 by 12. Let me just open that up for you so you can see it spread out. So we have 12 by 12, we also have 8.5 by 11, and then you can get the single packs of 8.5 by 11, which I just shared with you. Okay, what else? Oh gosh, of course, ink pads. So we have the ink pads. You can get all of the colors in our inks and in our reinkers. I recommend, as your demonstrator, um, if you have a different one, would recommend to get the reinker at the same time that you get the ink pad because then you're not scrambling at the last minute, um, you know, at the end of the two years that these are going to last, trying to get a reinker for a favorite color. Okay, just grab the reinker at the same time. 
We also have all the markers, so the Stampin' Write markers. I haven't even opened these yet. They have two tips. You have the brush tip and you have the fine tip. And so these are like a, a water-based marker, so you can get them in a combo pack. And then if you want individual color markers, it's a different kind of marker. It's called a blends marker, but you can get all five colors in the blends markers. These are alcohol-based markers and they color beautifully. If you've never used an alcohol-based marker before, you'll want to play around. Um, you'll want to try them out, but you'll want to do like a Google search for alcohol-based markers, or you could put in like a, a search in the um, YouTube search bar for Stampin' Up! blends markers. And I, I'm sure there's a ton of demonstrators who have shown lots of tips and tricks. I have, I have some back in my archive. Um, all right, and then we have some fun stuff like, we have these things called the 2021 through 23 in color jewels. Look at that, well here. I, I think it helps to leave them on white, as my upline had told me. So we'll go like this and we'll just hold them up to the camera. So they're kind of iridescent-y. They have like a multi-color look to them. Um, very striking. I think I need to get like 50 packs of those. Uh, and I'm serious. Okay, and then <laughs> we, have, we have these beautiful ribbons. And they are called Open Weave Ribbons. I'm going to make sure that's right here. Yep, Open Weave Ribbons. They're uh, a half inch, no, three, three eighths of an inch wide or one centimeter. And they come in all of the uh, five colors, of course. So they have kind of that sheer look to them, but they're very, very, um, like, they're not real tight, if that makes sense. The, the threads on them are spaced apart where you can see even like little gaps in there. So very delicate, very pretty, easy to tie. They fl uh, lie flat, lovely stuff. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh good, you're calling out the wonderful colors that you love. So I'm gonna put them out one more time here so you can see them. Um, all right, <laughs> here we go. Let's start with, which one should we start with? Greens, I know, I love the greens too. Who said that? Julie. <laughs> I'm going to tape down my little thing here, which is why I put the tape on here. And we're gonna put it in place. Okay, now we should be centered so we can see things. In fact, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here too. And I position my camera differently. I don't know if you guys notice, but I have it closer to the window. We're having really bright daylight till it today but I have a feeling we're gonna see the truest colors in the most natural light. So I have the lights on in my room, I have the window uh, light coming through only diffused a little bit so it's not super like yellowy, sunshiny and shadowy. Um, hopefully we'll, yeah, I think that's pretty darn accurate color right there. Okay, let's do, gosh, let's do the pinks. Okay, so we'll start with polished pink. Polished pink, as you can see, now when you, when you buy paint in a store and um, you know you need to fig figure out what, what paint you wanna paint a room in your house, can you see how when you turn it back and forth, depending on shadows, color can take on a totally different look. So it's always good, <laughs> and I don't sell paint, but I'm just telling you guys, this is so true. Get a little sampler of paint that you can put on your walls, on all four walls or how many walls you have so you can see it in different shadows and different light, just saying. Okay, here we go. <laughs> These are some of the current colors that we have. We have Melon Mambo, Blushing Bride, Flirty Flamingo, and Magenta Madness. Let me make sure on that one. All of a sudden I'm freaking out. Yes, okay, Magenta Madness is last year's introduced new in color. Oh wait, oh and then we have this one which is Leaving, Rococo Rose. So these are current pinkish colors that I thought um, we should just compare first of all just to kind of get a peek at what we have currently and what's coming in. This one is leaving. You can see it's a dustier kind of pink. Um, Rococo Rose is dustier. Polished pink is brighter, um, more on the candy side. And Magenta Madness is definitely more of a, um, a bluer. It has kind of a cool 
tone to it and polished pink has a warmer tone to it. This is also deeper in tone. This is a little bit more medium. And then we have Flirty Flamingo, which has a more warm tone actually. It's, it's kind of like orangier looking compared to the polished pink. Um, and then we have Blushing Bride, which obviously isn't much of a comparison. Um, it almost looks kind of white, but Blushing Bride is a very pale pink that's a cooler tone. We have another pink too, Petal Pink. I put it with the other color because it's more orangey-ish, but you can see um, Petal Pink has a very, um, uh, warm, it's a warmer tone. So these are our two light pinks. We have an orangey one, we have a cooler one. Um, but when you put them side by side with another color, it's interesting how they look, doesn't, isn't it? And then we have Melon Mambo, and Melon Mambo is, I would say, something that you could use with Polish Pink because it has kind of that same um, uh, intent, well, not to sense, it's kind of in the same tone. That's what I want to say. So like these two together, like this is a, a lighter version of the other one, if that makes sense. So you could layer them together. I could see these two working really well together. So now we're going to bring in some comparisons. And after I do those comparisons, we are going to, I'm going to peek up and see if there's anything that I forgot. So don't call out colors that you want me to compare until after I say that I'm done because I, otherwise I'm gonna have to scroll through comments and I might not be able to catch them all, okay? So those are the current ones. So let's look at some past colors. Colors that are retired now, no longer available, but you, that you may still have in your stash. How do they compare? So we have Pretty in Pink, which I think looks really nice with polished pink. It's a nice lighter version, same kind of um, color uh, tone or whatever, but it's it's lighter version than this one. Um, then we have Cameo Coral, which they don't go together very well. <laughs> this is orangier, um, warmer. This is cooler. You can see that there. Kind of the same as far as intensity goes. Like if we were to turn this into a, a black and white or you know grayed out kind of video, these would look probably the same. <laughs> then we have um, Pixie Pink. Pixie Pink is bluer. You can see it kind of has more of a purple look to it. Crisper, like, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's just, it's pixie-ish. <laughs> you know what I just thought of? I have this button on my um, app that I'm supposed to uh, check out here. So I'm going to see if it's gonna bring up the comments actually on my screen up here. I don't know. I'm playing around with my Switcher Studio app lately because I'm doing some training videos. And some of these things I haven't tried before. So we're, we're just gonna see if it will connect. I don't know. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm looking at my, my comments down here. Here's Watermelon Wonder. Watermelon Wonder, definitely redder. Yeah. It's, it's more on the um, orangey red side. Yummy. It does look like watermelon. <laughs> and then we have strawberry slush, which I could see those two going together pretty well. It may not look that way in the video. I just keep turning it kind of back and forth. This is still a little bit warmer. I would say, where is that one? This one's a better version the same amount of bluish tone to it this one is definitely warmer has some underlying hints of that you know more of a, a reddish color to it um, <laughs> I'm glad that you guys are enjoying this this is so much fun um, I'm seeing some comments roll in nobody's calling out colors yet which is good and Dixie I loved pixie pink too you know what it rhymes with your first name huh that's kind of cool Rose red, uh, okay, kind of like, <laughs> I bet that's why you might have liked it, I don't know. But you can see rose red um, could go with it if you wanted a really deep look. It's more on the purplish tone or brownish purple, you know, this is brighter, more cheerful. But yet these two kind of contrast, you know? It's interesting how they can take on um, a look together, but then you bring in a third color and you're like, what? That doesn't work. 
And then here's primrose petals, which definitely looked browner. It's a browner pink, right? Yep, so, and then we have pink passion. <laughs> Making you hungry, Peggy, I love it. <laughs> oh, now pink passion, this one I thought looked the closest as far as, um, you know, as far as comparisons go when you're sitting them down together. Actually, no, there was another one. Pink Passion is definitely bluer, but you can see how close those look. Don't they look pretty darn close? There's another one that's even closer. Here's Regal Rose, which a lot of people had um, said to me beforehand um, might have worked. And this one is a lighter version in a way, like kinda, well, I actually I wouldn't even pair them up now that I'm looking at them in person in daylight. I was comparing them at night. I don't think I would pair them up together. Um, this is warmer, um, has more of a orangey look to it or whatever. Not really orange, it's just, it's just warmer. It's not as blue. And then we have Rose Romance. Rose Romance and Primrose Petals. Kind of those two go together really well. Have you guys used those together? Those go together really well. Kind of have that same brownish pink look. And then we have this one, which I thought was pretty close. Positively pink and polished pink. Let me bring that pink passion back in. I don't know. That might be a good photograph for the blog, right? See those three next to each other? That is the toughest part. So what I... What, what has been going on for me this weekend is not only Easter, so there's the holiday that my family celebrates, and then um, I got my COVID shot, and it was a one-time dose, the Johnson & Johnson one. So I thought I was going to be doing great. I was, you know, enjoying my day thinking, gosh, I don't even feel a pain in my arm or anything. And then it hit me towards the end of the day, and I was kind of out for about 24 hours. So that cut a lot of time out. And I... I didn't have time to kind of say to myself, can I fit this in or not? So that's why it was last minute. Sorry, everybody, it was kind of last minute um, to just kind of go live today because I I knew I could shower. All of a sudden after I got showered, I'm like, I can do this. So sorry about that. And then there was one other thing that happened. What was, oh, just new products, new products coming in. It is a crazy time for demonstrators um, when new products come in because we're all excited. So we do all this team stuff together and I'm expediting orders and I'm doing um, a live with my um, upline in our group and and my order was late and it was just a crazy, crazy weekend. So I did not have time, oops, I grabbed the wrong one, did not have time to kind of put um, get some photographs together. So I will be putting these on my blog. But back to what I was originally saying is that photographing these colors and trying to get the true colors to show up is always tough. Um, I will be using some, uh, is it called hex codes or whatever, so that you can see those comparisons as well. But I will try to photograph these swatch, swatches next to each other. So now, is there any color there that I missed? Pink Pirouette and Powder Pink. You know, I don't think, yes, I didn't bring those in because they're super whitish. Okay, thank you for mentioning those, uh, Michaela. Um, so I probably won't be photographing them because they're just totally, totally whitish compared to this pink. Um, any others that I might have missed? So, okay, well, if you think of something, let me know because there's like this 25 second delay <laughs> in the video. And you may be calling them out as I'm as you're hearing me ask it. So I'm just gonna set those aside. We'll move on to let's move on to the um, pale papaya color now. Okay. So I've got a stack of kind of orangeyish, yellowish colors. Okay. All right. I'm peeking. See if there's anything else. Lovely lipstick. Martha wants me to compare lovely lipstick. I have to peek back here because I've got them all spread out. <laughs> I don't have them alphabetically. There's lovely lipstick for you. Much darker, but you know what? I could see those going well together on a project if you wanted to use them together. Thanks, Martha. All right. Okay, any others? I'm peeking, peeking, peeking. Okay, we did pretty in pink. Yes, Paula. All right, pale papaya. 
Let's compare that to some of the current colors that we have. I think there's only a couple. Yeah, so these colors here, um, oh, and petal pink, that, those were the ones. So these colors here are kind of yellowish or light orangey pinkish or whatever, or orange. Um, so these are the current ones that I thought were the closest comparisons, but of course, not really close. You can tell the difference between these two. We have one that's um, more, uh, this one actually was warmer when we compared it to Blushing Bride, but this one is definitely warmer, more sunnier, more yellowy. This one has more of a pink tone to it. And then we have Pumpkin Pie. I can see those going really well together. As far as layering goes, those would be great. Um, how about So Saffron? So Saffron looks, it's actually kind of a, um, a really dusty light yellow, but when you put it in here and you compare it, it looks kind of bright <laughs> because the orange of the papaya color just kind of makes this stand out more. So those are the current colors. We have Peach Parfait, which would be really, really nice with Pale, pale, pale par Papaya. So if you still have Peach Parfait color, it's, it, I would say that this is like, um, this, this is Peach Parfait lightened up, like stamped off twice, is what I would say that is. I don't know. I like Peach Parfait with it. P um, pumpkin Pie though, I, I did enjoy that, but I think Peach Parfait is definitely a closer look to it okay here's peekaboo peach peekaboo peach um redder you know deeper in color obviously more mustard i brought that one in remember more mustard you guys browner browner and redder and deeper here's groovy guava because i knew that i knew that this one would be called out but groovy guava is more of a uh pink red kind of tone okay and then we have crisp cantaloupe um yeah apricot appeal is on my list yes uh who was that that said that Heidi I've got that one set aside blushing bride I didn't pull that one out let me grab that um blushing bride oh I have that one with the pinks I think yeah, Blushing Bride. You want to come? Okay, I've got that pulled aside. So there's Crisp Cantaloupe. You can see that one's kind of the same as the Groovy Guava in that it's um, kind of on the, the oranger, um, pinker side. Those two would be great together. <laughs> and then we've got Grapefruit Grove. Definitely more orange. More orange like in the Peach Parfait Pumpkin Pie kind of category there. Um, as far as oranginess. And then we have Barely Banana. Do you remember Barely Banana? That was a very pale color, which a lot of us compared to So Saffron when So Saffron came into play. Um, it's kind of a lighter version of So Saffron. And then we have Blush Blossom. Blush Blossom, definitely whiter. This was an old blush. This was the one that looked stunning with Night of Navy. In fact, when I became a demonstrator, my upline Susan Campfield made me a welcome card, which I have saved to this day, <laughs> that was using Blush Blossom and Night of Navy and um, had a butterfly on it. I don't know how she knew. Um, <laughs> Blushing Bride, this is a current color. That one was called out. So there's Blushing Bl uh, Bride. Blushing Blide. <laughs> and then we have Apricot Appeal. So a lot of you were calling that one out. Yes, this one I think is the closest to Pale Papaya. It's almost like they could be mistaken for each other. You can see, right? But as I turn it in the light, Pale Papaya does have more of a redder or pinker tone to it. And Apricot Appeal is more on the... Um, brighter um brighter side doesn't have that that brownish or reddish tone to it coming through if that makes sense i miss this color <laughs> but pale papaya so there was a card that i did with apricot appeal that i'm gonna have to recreate 
with pale papaya because this was a color that just oh I loved it so I'm looking 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 um, barely banana I did oh you still have some banana okay um, barely banana I love it you guys are calling out ones that you miss and is pale papaya sort of a blended paper not solid no it's solid um, I guess I mean I've never really I don't guess I don't know what you mean it doesn't look like it has different colors in it it just has a tone that comes through that's kind of um, does it look like it's not solid on here it's definitely solid um, I still have some Bailey banana okay any other colors that uh, I need to call out this is fun to see which ones you guys love which ones you miss this is fun it's like a little reunion show right <laughs> daffodil delight okay that one is definitely a bright yellow so I didn't pull out the bright yellows. There's too many bright yellows. Daffodil Delight. I just saw one that I should compare. So there's Daffodil Delight. Yeah, right? Uh, Mango Melody. Mango Melody. I think I compared that one already. Let me look. I have to spread these out. Was Mango in the other one? <laughs> mango where's my mango I it's a it's a current one. Oh, here it is mango melody I put it over by the oranges there's mango I guess I could keep that in the um, in the color comparison that's a that's a current one but it's definitely orangier thank you for calling that one out who was that a couple of you said that Terry and Oh, Terry said it twice. <laughs> Terry and Terry. Thanks, Terry. <laughs> um, okay, and then did I show you this one? This one I should put, pull in there too. Mar Marigold Morning. It's oranger, but yeah. There you go. All right. Okay, I think we covered the ones that you might have wanted to call out. Grapefruit Grove? I did. I did Grapefruit Grove. Yep. There you go, Rhonda. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next color then. Let's go to the purples. Fresh freesia. I looked it up on Google. I am, I, like I'm not a, a green thumb person even though I love the color green and I love plants and I just love being surrounded by greenery. I do not know how to grow anything. <laughs> so. So um, I didn't know how to even pronounce this name. I looked it up on Google, asked some people. Um, one of my teammates told me that I said it right, but I actually didn't say it right because I said Phrygia. I did like an I-A at the end. I think it's Phrygia. So anyways, that's how you say it. <laughs> we have some current colors. Purple Posy, which is leaving. Highland Heather. I think that's it as far as the light purples go that I was going to pull in. So you can see there, this one's leaving. It's kind of whitish and cooler. Um, not much of a comparison there. This one, I wouldn't even put those together either, either because this is definitely like on the redder side. This is on the bluer side of purples, Highland Heather. These two, great together, right? We're gonna miss Purple Posy. It was like this, this, and the gorgeous grape, the darkest one. Those work so well together. So let's bring in some past colors. Let's bring in Sweet Sugar Plum. And I'm gonna grab some water as we do this here. I'm still trying to peek at comments to see if you guys said anything that I missed. Okay, um, Sweet Sugar Plum, redder kind of purple when you compare it. It's funny because this here, when you, when you see these together, together, you think cooler, redder, but then when you see these together, together it's like cooler red, you know what I mean? It's like intensity of how much reddish tones are in there. Here's Wisteria Wonder, because I knew people would ask about that one. Um, <laughs> oh good, I'm glad that you loved seeing that one. Yes, Orchid Opulence is one that I'm gonna share, absolutely. Um, so again, hang on to these suggestions until towards the end. If I didn't share it, then call it out again, because I'm gonna miss them as they scroll. Wisteria Wonder, ooh. Definitely bluish, grayish in tone. Pale Plum. Remember that one? 
that's pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. This is a hazier looking purple. Uh, more brownish or dullish, like a grayish tone, like a grayish version of Fresh Freesia is how I would explain that one. If you took this one and you just kind of like brought down, uh, I don't know, the intensity of it or something. Um, here's Mauve Mist. Okay, that's pretty cool. When, when you angle them, you can see how they almost like look the same until all of a sudden you angle them differently again. Redder, more bluish com in comparison. Fun, fun to do. Here is Marvelous Magenta. I don't even know why I brought this in because <laughs> it's a super dark purplish color, but um, I just wanted to show you that uh, that does not work. <laughs> Almost Amethyst is a bluer kind of, it's more of a blue than it is purple, uh, but I wanted to show that. And then here's Lavender Lace. Lavender Lace is a cooler uh, purple that I would say compares more with Highland Heather, right? And then here we go, <laughs> Orchid Opulence. It's definitely a darker version of Fresh Freesia, but they look like they'd go great together, like totally layers, right? So if you're looking to build a two-step flower or something, you could do that with the Orchid Opulence and the Fresh Freesia, or just take Orchid Opulence, stamp it off a couple times. It feels like that's what this is. I don't know, I like them together. I miss this color. <laughs> <laughs> it might have been too bright and too, I don't know, 80s, 90s for some of you, but I just loved it. Okay, I'm looking. Let's. You want me to compare it with Blackberry Bliss, Melanie? Oh my gosh, that's so dark. I will. <laughs> All right. Um, so we have, hang on a minute. We have a few other purples that are current colors, but they are definitely darker. So here is... Rich Razzleberry with Fresh Freesia. You know, I could see those kind of working together, actually. Maybe that's why you called it out. Blackberry Bliss. Oh, yes. Together? These look yummy. Wow. I like those together. Thanks, Melanie. <laughs> I like those two together. It's darker, but it's like really... Oh, wow. Let's just put these... No, maybe not with Orchid. Maybe it's like these two together or these two together, right? And then here's the gorgeous grape that I was mentioning before that went with these. Remember the uh, Hydrangea Hill papers? All of those are in there. So, okay, what else? What else did I miss? Um, did, I, did we do Marvelous Magenta? Oh, yeah, Marvelous Magenta. You like the Marvelous Magenta with it, too. Okay. Who was that? that? Paula said that? Okay. Um, looking, looking, looking. This is great. Any other colors that I need to show off? Blackberry Bliss is so awesome, isn't it, Cindy? Okay, I'm going to move on to the next one then. All right, here we go. Let's do some greens. I am wearing one of the greens today. I'm wearing the uh, succulent color. What's it called? Soft succulent. I have to start memorizing these. Let's bring that one in. So soft succulent with some current colors. We have mossy meadow, we have shaded spruce. This one is leaving. Okay, so let's just take a look at those right now. I'm gonna actually compare these two. Those two would be great together. So if you're looking for something to go with shaded spruce, that's pretty awesome looking right there. I like that. I think, I think I do. <laughs> Um, here's Mossy Meadow, way more yellowy, um, yeah, more on the olive tone, right? And then we have Pretty Peacock, which is leaving, which now you can see, just kind of like it went with that mint, uh, or no, this one went with um, Pool Party really well, didn't it? We're going to we're gonna miss Pretty Peacock, such a nice green. All right, let's bring in some other greens. Um, Here's one from a long time ago, always artichoke. Not really long time ago, but always artichoke. Okay. Oh, someone wants me to compare purely pomegranate. Linda did. Okay, I'm looking. 
purely prime. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll see if there's any more, but I, I'll try to remember to bring back uh, purely pomegranate with that. Tranquil Tide. Those two are really nice together. Bluish kind of greenish, bluish kind of greenish. Oh, those look really great together. Definitely. Those two you have to pair up if you still have some Tranquil Tide. Here's Forest, forest Foliage. Forest Foliage. I could see those two working together too. Not with the Tranquil Tide though, because this these two together, they look kind of different, but they kind of bring on different looks when you compare when you put them side by side with another. Um, and then here's Handsome Hunter. Gosh, any of them. Look at I wrote it in black and then I wrote it in white because I couldn't read it. <laughs> but this is my only swatch of Handsome Hunter. Oh, I see, I even did it on this on the other side. I tried, I tried writing it in black. Handsome Hunter with Soft Succulent even works. It's crazy, this is like a color that just shifts. It can move and work with so many different greens. That was just kind of crazy. Like all of those greens are different, but it's almost like it's, I don't know, that's crazy. All right, what did we have? Purely pomegranate? Well, if we're gonna do that one, we might as well do this one too. Where was that? Fresh Brescia. So there we go. Berry Burst, old one. Not real old, but old. And then Purely Pomegranate with Fresh Brescia. There you go. Not really, not really that close, right? Just Jade. Ah. Just Jade. Oh, you know what? I have that with the other greens. That's why. Let me grab that one. <clears throat> there it is. Oh yeah, why didn't I? Okay, so there's just Jade. This is a current one, and this will be current. Nice, so they're not exactly the same, but they're kind of like the same intensity. This is a more gray and and um, kind of a, a dustier color, right? And this is brighter, more intense. Um, definitely more on the green side. This is more on the bluish, greenish, I don't know. It's you know what I mean. Okay, um, what else? I gotta keep that over here, but have it in a separate pile. Ah, uh, looking, looking, looking. Mm. Mint macaron. You know what? I wonder if. Oh, you know, <laughs> I always do something in every video. Those darker colors were supposed to be compared to this one. <laughs> Okay then, well now we've compared all the ones that I was gonna compare with Evening Evergreen. Now we'll get into the ones that I was gonna compare <laughs> with, with the Soft Succulent. These are our lighter greens <laughs> and a couple other greens that we carry. There, all right. Mint Macaron, let's do that one first. <laughs> Can I edit this? I'm just gonna leave it. It's alive. It's meant to be, um, you know, real life. There we go, mint macaron. <laughs> well, now you, now you can see all those other comparisons. These two are pretty good as far as, you know, um, light darkness, you know what I mean? This is definitely on the brighter side. More, um, I would say warmer, this is cooler. Then we have garden green, which doesn't compare much at all, right? Then we'll just put that with the evening evergreen pile. <laughs> Then we have Old Olive, which doesn't compare at all. Very yellowish. Uh, Pear Pizzazz, definitely more yellowish. Um, and then we have Granny Apple Green. Whoa, like those don't even look nice together at all. And here's just Jade. So of the, clothes, the colors that we have in the current selection, these two are the closest, I would say, in comparison to Soft Succulent. Just Jade and Mint Macaron, yeah. But Soft Succulent, no, you know, it's, they're different. This is bluer, this is warmer, yeah. Okay, now we'll do the other colors that are past colors. <laughs> I hope you guys can forgive me for that. Mint Macaron, or Mint Melody, sorry, Mint Melody was kind of at the same time as Orchid Opulence, um, just one of those really bright 
like almost neonish colors, right? But how fun, like you just wanna eat it. It's so yummy. I miss it. <laughs> but Mint Melody, so bright. Not really a comparison. And certainly Celery is very much like Pear Pizzazz in that it's, in fact, those two were greatly compared when they first had one or the other. You can see how close they are. But um, yeah, so two yellowish. Then we have Pistachio Pudding. Remember Pistachio Pudding? Whiter. Yeah, definitely whiter and yellower. And then we have Ma Mellow Moss. Mellow Moss, remember that? We have Mossy Meadow, and then we have Mellow Moss. That's why sometimes us demonstrators get these things confused. Their color names sometimes are very close. <laughs> um, browner, dirtier looking green, right? Not to be negative, because I actually did love Mellow Moss when it was out, but compared to Soft Succulent, it was definitely a dirtier looking one. Here's Lost Lagoon. Hmm. Kind of close. Not, not, I mean, not exactly. Not as close as some of the other comparisons. This is bluer. This is more yellowish, but... And then here's Sage Shadow. This one I thought was the closest. Actually, was Mint Macaron? No, Sage Shadow I thought was the closest comparison. So, and you could, you could use those together, I suppose. I don't know. They're just the closest comparison, I think. All right, so now I'm going to peek. Um, yes, Sage Shadow, some of you. Uh, soft, soft Sea Foam, Soft succulent and evening evergreen are gorgeous together are they did i do soft sea foam yet did i pull that one in i did not soft sea foam what was that suggestion soft sea foam and evening evergreen oh you like that one with it okay i i was thinking this was more of a yellowy green and this is more of a bluer green these two, the two new in colors, totally look great together, by the way. So, but thank you for letting us share that. Um, what else? Um, I'm trying to see if there's any other colors that I forgot to compare. So you saw the soft sea foam compared. That's a current one. I got a little dirty swatch of that one, I guess. <laughs> Definitely whiter. I, that's probably why I didn't pull it in, but we'll leave it here. Okay, let's bring in... Let's bring in the Evening Evergreen now and do a comparison. Okay, Evening Evergreen, and I'm just gonna leave, the, that's why I did the greens together because I know you guys are, might wanna compare colors across the two greens, which I already did with the lighter one. Crazy. All right, so let's just get these going here. These are current ones. We have Shaded Spruce, this one's leaving. This is pretty peacock. We have just jade, um, garden green, mossy meadow, and the rest are retired greens. These are more on the darker side of greens that we have. Um, let me know if I'm missing one. So here's mossy meadow in comparison to evening evergreen. Definitely not a match. Way yellower. More on the uh, olive side, right? And then we have Garden Green, which, you know, is a slightly less yellow version, but still more yellow than this has. This is more of a bluer kind of green. What is the paper weight? Yvonne or Yvonne? I'm not sure how you say it. Yvonne or Yvonne? Um, paper weight. They don't, they don't um, make that public knowledge anymore, not even to demonstrators, um, because sometimes they have uh, slight differences in the weight when they go through manufacturing. Um, so they don't share that. Uh, it's, it's cardstock. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you on that. So, um, oh, can we do, can we see with grays? You want to see this with grays? Oh, sure. But the, the gray, well, okay. We'll bring those in. Name a gray, okay? Diane, just name one that you want me to compare. Pistachio pudding. You want me to compare that just for um, for maybe like if, if it would match up with it. Okay, so there's garden green. 
Um, let's do let's do pretty peacock, which is leaving, which is definitely bluer. Yep, definitely bluer. And then we have shaded spruce. There we go. So you could either ha either have a really bright Christmas tree or you could have a really dark Christmas tree. You have spruces and evergreens. <laughs> this is Handsome Hunter. Look how close they are. Those two. I would say, I mean, you would have a hard time telling the difference between the two, even in person, except, can you see the, now that I angled it this way a little bit, you can see here that this has more of a brownish tone to it than Handsome Hunter does. A grayer, browner kind of look, right? So there is a very close comparison. Here's forest foliage, bluer, it's still a very deep green. Tranquil Tide, there's that. And then we have Always Artichoke. More on that olive green side, right? And there's the Just Jade. I don't know if I held those up together yet. Would I put those together? I could, I could see that happening. Yeah, this is pistachio pudding. Those two would work really well together because it does have a, um, you know, a, a yellower tone, like a browner tone to it. So this is a yellower green. I could see you using both of those together. <laughs> Your head hurts, Paula. She said her head hurts because of um, pretty peacock leaving. So what else did we not compare? Now I'm gonna peek at your comments again and see. Have they ever done a eucalyptus green? Gosh, again, I'm not a green thumb person. So I don't know what a eucalyptus green looks like, <laughs> but it sounds great. Um, Melanie is guessing around 85 pound for the cardstock weight. Thanks, Melanie. But we don't know. Stampin' Up! doesn't share that information anymore. Um, you're, loving ev you're loving the evening evergreen even more. Try to say that 10 times fast. These two, they're going to be awesome together. They're the two new in colors. They're going to be great. Mm, pistachio with the succulent color. Okay. There we go. If that helps. Any others that I did not compare? So um, again, I'm gonna work on some photography while, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna work on some photography, but it may be better if I just do like a hex color comparison. I don't know, we'll figure it out. But these are the new in colors again. Call out any others that I forgot to compare. Mossy Meadow with Evening Evergreen. Mossy Meadow. I thought I had compared that one. Maybe I didn't. Here it is. You're right. I kind of, did I not? I don't remember. There it is. There's that comparison. And Old Olive. I did not even bring that over, did I? Oh, yeah, I did. Old Olive. No, there it is. Kind of different, right? It's a dusty, that's definitely right. It's a dusty succulent color. You're right, Peggy. Okay, um, if there's no more comparisons, then I will let you all go. Um, you can always leave them in the after live comment section if you need me to compare, but I'll be working on this blog post today and try to get it up by the end of the day. Um, link it to this video, but the video is live for you guys to go back and watch if you want to. Um, now tell me what your favorite in color is now that you've seen them compared to old colors. I would love to see that. Oh yeah, Grace. Thank you, Linda. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, Grace. I'm just bringing my gray category over. Um, so is there one specifically that you want to see right next to it? Basic gray with, where was that comment? It just scrolled past me. Basic gray. I missed it. Did it go really far? Huh. Now I don't see it. I think it was this one. I'll do it with both. Basic gray with evening evergreen. So there's that. And there it is with soft succulent, which 
not very close at all, right? So, <laughs> yes, watch the replay, Judith. Um, greens, greens, greens. <laughs> Polish, oh good, you guys are calling out your favorite colors. Awesome, well, I will just assume that I've covered it all. This has been 50 minutes long, sorry. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your week, everybody. We'll actually see some of you if you come back on Wednesday when I do my next live. I'm going to be doing a live using the Flowering Cactus Medley um, with a fun card that blossoms when it opens up. I saw this idea on Pinterest and had to do it. So I'll be making a little cactus blossoming flower on the inside of this card. I hope you can come back on Wednesday. So we'll see you all then. Um, in the meantime, um, I'm going to, uh, yeah, my, my comments up here never worked, so I don't even know why I still, I didn't even shut that off. <laughs> in the meantime, um, I hope that you all have uh, a great, there we go, a great rest of your week, and um, now I'd like you all to go and stamp your art out. Bye-bye. <laughs>